Hey everyone, this is Aaron Ozy, Director of Marketing at Music Theater Works. I'm coming to you live from the North Shore Center for the Performing Arts in Skokie. Today is a very exciting day for Music Theater Works as we debut the opening production of our 2022 season, La Caja Fall, starring Ginger Minge from RuPaul's Drag Race and featuring costumes by Project Runway designer Justin LeBlanc. Today, I'm joined by one of the stars of this outstanding cast. Please introduce yourself. Hi, I'm uh, I'm Jason Richards, and I'm playing uh, George in uh, La Caja Fall. Well, thank you so much for sitting down for a few minutes today before the show and just answering a few questions. This is opening night uh, for Music Theater Works, putting on La Caja Fall. It's the first time we're ever putting on a show in the North Theater yeah. uh, here at the North Shore Center, so it's a big deal. There's a lot of things about this show that are very different than anything that has come before because it's so immersive and i won't sh i won't spoil anything for anyone <laughs> when you when you walk into the theater it's not just a set and a stage it's it's totally immersive it's a very unique experience and it really just comes to life it feels like you're actually there and there's a lot of other elements to the show too that make you feel upfront, close and personal with everyone on stage, including yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yes, you will know. Well, I'm right in there, <laughs> right in the faces. So how about we start off with an easy question. How did you get involved with Music Theater Works in the first place? Well, actually, it was my friend uh, Bob Silton who's been walking around here in about the coolest <laughs> suit I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, our production um, manager, yeah. Yeah, so my first show, is, one of my first like big equity show in Chicago was La Caja Fall at the Marriott Theater. Okay. So I played um, Tabaro, the fisherman, sure. um, who, who's played by Daryl in this one, who does a fantastic job. And uh, so, I, yeah, and I understudied uh, the great Gene White Against as uh, Alban. He played Alban in that one, and I understood it. Never got to go on, but I got to meet Bob uh, Silton, who uh, it works on this show, and he messaged me one day and was like, hey, we're, we're looking for a George for La Caja Fall. I had just gotten back to the city. I'd been gone from the city for like two years. And he messaged me, and he was like, we're looking for a George. Are you interested? And I was like, yeah, uh, like, yeah, uh, I've always wanted to, like, ever since I understudied Alban, I, I mean, and I love Alban, but I've always wanted to play George, like, his songs just sit so well in my vocal range and all this stuff, so um, as soon as he said that, I was like, yeah, I'll be, I'll give it a shot, and, and then started it all. Yeah, I put I, I put something on tape, and then they were like, come in, we gotta, we gotta see you live, and I was like, okay, all right, and so I was nervous, but uh, yeah, the rest is history, I just kind of, you know, yeah. I, I got it, and I, then I then I found out that Ginger was in it, and I was just like, "Oh wow, this is this is so much more than I well, thought it was." And that's be. actually a perfect segue into my next question. Yeah. So you and Ginger on stage, you have such powerful chemistry. Oh, you can thank just, you. you. It's palpable. You can feel it. You know, and that's what really makes the show personal, and it touches everyone. Yeah. And so, what has it been like working with Ginger, uh, and not only Ginger, but the rest of the cast too? I mean, it's such a great group like not i mean ginger of course yes but like not i mean just every single person is just bringing their a game in it which is like when you're with those kind of people on stage it's just so much fun to yeah. get out there and play um i've never worked with like somebody of any sort of celebrity before you know i've worked with people that have been like tours and national tours and sure. maybe a couple broadway shows or something like that but nobody that has like quite the following that ginger has so i, I was a little nervous and i met her for the first time um, in the photo shoots yeah. um, that we did before she, we even started rehearsals. Sure. And, you know, we uh, all I got to do was like come in and snap a couple of pictures with her and then leave. But just in those like couple minutes that we got to like take those pictures together, we just immediately started like cracking dirty jokes and just like <laughs> making each other laugh. And I knew from that even short interaction that we were going to be just fine. Sure. And then when she got to the rehearsal room, it was just a whole other level because you know you're you, you're playing a couple that's been married for 20 years so right. there's no you you gotta just jump right in with this stuff you, you can't like kind of there's a bit of grittiness to it you know yes exactly <laughs> and and from the first rehearsal i mean it was we just were able to have our hands all over each other we were you know and then through the course of this process we just become really good friends and yeah. like that's kind of deepened um what we've been able to do together and create together on stage and i just i, I adore her yeah i adore her we have a great time we got to buffalo wild wings after the show hang <laughs> out you know it's all good she's a theater nerd like all of us you know like she, yes she's she's like achieved all of the success but like the girl can sing she can she can hold a crowd like you would not believe yeah. like in the lacage number 
she, you know, she comes out and she just has the crowd, at the, you know, at the palm of her hands at all time and, and is making up these lines that I've never heard before. And I ask her, I'm like, do you write these beforehand? And she's like, no, they just come to me. You yeah, know? The improvisation like, is just brilliant. You yeah. Know? Oh yeah. my gosh. She's and insanely good at it. Just like planets, stars have gravity too, and they right. bring everything to them. And that's what Ginger's doing with the show is pulling everyone together, you know, and making this a fun production. Oh, and, okay. you know, that brings me into a, a funner uh, question that I love asking everyone typically at some point. Everyone has different answers. And I know it's the simplest question, but it can be the toughest question to answer. Yeah. What is your favorite musical number out of the show? Oh, that's so hard. Uh, I hate to say one of my own because that's so dumb. Oh, no. But like, not um, it's it's with you on my arm, which is the it's the reprise of of the number with Anne on my arm. Sure. that Jean Michel sings. Yeah. Uh, and then after you know that number is done, we do a little reprise together. And I think it just like sets up the relationship so well because up until that moment, they've been kind of bickering back and forth a lot, and then you just get to see them like full out, have a blast together, doing a soft shoe, playing with each other. And then we just get to sing and like blast out these like amazing yeah. harmonies. Yeah. And Jerry Herman, I mean, my God, the the guy knew how to write a song. And that one in particular, I just, I feel like from that moment on, the audience is like with those two together for the rest of the show. And it's just it's completely agree. off like a rocket from there. Yeah, no, and it really kicks off with a bang, and, yes. you know, and in a, in a very, very good way. I mean. It, you know, I was, like I said, I was in the group performance yesterday and every single performance, let me just say this, every single performance I've seen, it just keeps getting better and better and better. Oof. And <laughs> your mouth to God here. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it really does. And, you know, because this is a new chapter for music theater works, you know, yeah. we, uh, this is some, this is a season that's so diverse and the Kaja Fall, we're so proud to have kicked this all off. Yeah. And, you know, especially with us being in the North Theater now yeah. versus just the Center Theater, there are so many different new opportunities and possibilities for the shows that we can put on. Oh, my God. It's a fantastic space. Like, I, I've gotten to perform in a lot of different spaces, including, like, you know, thousand seat houses and stuff like that. And I just, this kind of a, a performance space, when you're, like, you can look an audience member in the eye and just have that relationship with them where they're right there yeah and and be able to fill a space that's you know you, and you can whisper you know you can like you can take it back and 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 people can hang on that emotion that you can't do in a bigger theater you know right just the people in the 10th row 50th row are not going to see what they see here right so that's that's definitely a reason to come see this particular production this well space and uh you've been pretty good at actually segueing me into my other questions but i mean? i do have one very important question and i think everyone listening at home wants to know this in your own words what is the number one reason why people should come and see what fall it's a classic and if you haven't if you if this is like on your musical theater bucket list to see it this way with Ginger is just phenomenal. But I mean, I know other people have said it and it's, you know, I'm not trying to be too cheesy about it, but the message of it just still needs to be told today. You know, like no matter how much you, how much, you know, how far you think you're getting in society with love is love is love. And like, that's an obvious thing. There's still stuff going on. I mean, just open up the newspapers and, you know, I, I just feel like this story gives you the message without banging over the head. It gives it to you in like a little cotton candy, you know, present and and you get the message and I think you walk out and, and you just have a different kind of Your change. outlook. Yeah, you have a different outlook on on every you know, relationships on everything. It's because you're seeing you're not seeing a you know, a homosexual couple necessarily. You're just seeing a couple that right. loves each other and has been together for 20 years. And well, love and hate. Yes, right. Exactly. <laughs> well, for 20 years. Once you get past that first scene, yeah. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> no, it's just been a joy to work on, and I'm I'm having a blast, and I hope everybody comes out to see it. Well, we're very happy to have you as part of this show, and everyone listening at home, if you haven't yet, please visit musictheaterworks.com right now and get your tickets for an upcoming performance. Okay. Until then, everyone. Bye. Thanks for watching.